Are you transferring to Indiana to work at NSA Crane? Well, today I'm going to tell you where to live and play if you're working at NSA Crane. Coming right up. I'm Wendy Kohlmeyer. I'm with B-Town Realtors, and today I'm going to tell you where the most popular areas are to live if you work at NSA Crane. So Crane's kind of in the middle of nowhere, right? It's on 64,000 acres southwest of Bloomington, Indiana. There are a couple of places that you might want to consider. Now, most of the people that I've helped over the years find a place to live are all wanting acreage. So you're going to find some acreage sprinkled around Crane, Indiana, but it's probably going to be either in Lawrence County, Greene County, or Monroe, southwestern Monroe County. Those would be the most likely areas if you're working at Crane. The first up would be Bloomfield, Indiana. Bloomfield, Indiana is about 20 minutes to the main gate of Crane. It's a very small community of about 2,300 people and has basically one grocery store, a smaller version of Kroger called Ruler, and then it has a Dollar General. There are a few restaurants and whatnot, but it's very limited on those things. You would need to go to Linton, Indiana to go to the closest Walmart, which is about 20 minutes away from Bloomfield. Bloomfield is about 40 minutes west of Bloomington, you're going to find more economical type properties in this area. Another place that people like to go is Bedford, Indiana. Bedford, Indiana is considered the limestone capital of the world due to its stone quarries that are in and around it. The population is roughly 14,000. They do have a Lowe's there, so that's a plus. They have more restaurants, things like that, and it's located 20 minutes to the east gate of Crane. So you'll be able to find some nice houses in Bedford, a lot of historic value there. It's also in Lawrence County, which is a more economical place to live as well. And it's about 35 minutes to Bloomington and it's 70 miles south of Indianapolis. One fun fact about Bedford that I forgot to mention is that the, the limestone from the quarries was used to make the Empire State Building and also the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Now, if you want more population density, there's Bloomington. And Bloomington is about 25 minutes to the main gate. And I believe that they still do a, a shuttle from the Walmart on the west side of Bloomington down to Crane but there's a lot of people that live in Bloomington that live in and around or on the west side of Bloomington that work at Crane. Bloomington is, the population is about 40,000 and then another 45,000 worth of college students. Bloomington is the home to Indiana University and so you're going to have a very young vibe there. It's more of a community. Uh, it has a lot of university related benefits such as theater and opera and ballet, all kinds of things that are afforded to Bloomington because of Indiana University. And there's IU Sports, which is always very popular whether we're losing or winning. So there's that too. There's tons of fun things to do in Bloomington and around Bloomington. We have Lake Monroe, which is Indiana's largest man-made lake, and it offers all kinds of water sports and activities. It's located in Hoosier National Forest, which is one of the biggest forests in Indiana. So if you like any type of outdoor activity, this is the spot that you would want to be, is in Bloomington. Indianapolis is an hour away. If you can't find enough to do in Bloomington, you can definitely find all the things to do in Indianapolis. So if you would like more information on Bloomington, I've got another video, the top tips before moving to Bloomington, and then I've got other Bloomington related videos on my channel. So please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will get you all the information you need to know about the Bloomington area.